hey guys welcome back to world tech insider uh, in today i'm going to show you how to speed up your home internet connection or even office internet connection so here you don't need to do any fancy settings changes in uh, registry files or else uh, type in a fancy code in your command prompt so all you have to know, do is just download this one particular application called uh, tcp optimizer so i've done a complete article regarding this how it works and everything in my website and this is that uh, website so I would have put a link below in the description for this website so you can also find a lot of other stuffs like how to make money uh, some other tutorials you can find it in my web page so you can check it out my web page I would have put the link below in the description so before getting started I would love to thank each and every one of my subscribers for, my, for your support and if you're new to my channel please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also ring the bell button next to it to get the latest of my videos so without any further ado let's get started guys so this is my web page so if you come down i've written down what is tcp ip and how internet connection works and let's say this particular hack works only for windows and mac users only these particular users can use this hack um so windows windows 10 windows 8 xp windows 7 or windows network servers also works with this hack application all you have to do is just come to the web page and you have to find this particular link and click on this and it will redirect you to this particular page so this is the page and just click on this particular first link to download the application i have already downloaded so right it is not downloading it again so you can see it right here in my home desktop so before we open it up uh, let's check out our internet speed so go, i'll go to speedtest.com and hit go So let's see in real time what is my speed. So I have ping speed 2 and uh, I have a download speed around 46 Mbps. And an upload speed of let's check it out what is the upload speed. So it is around 47 Mbps let's keep it in a round figure. And an upload speed of 60, 70. 85 87 88 90s it's around 94 so let's consider as 47 mbps as a download and upload speed whereas i pay for 100 mbps speed so let's tweak up the settings and see what happens so make sure that you have an administrator privilege to do this hack so right click on the application you have downloaded and run as administrator this initially uh, creates this kind of file in the folder where you have downloaded the file so that is nothing but your backup file so and it does some configuration right here for your network uh, registry file it doesn't take a much of a time all you have to do use for you guys it will be around somewhere around here by default so you have to drag it up to 30 plus or something 30 to 40 I'll put it as something around this range and nothing you have to do then come over here give the opt click on the optimal and apply so it takes you to this particular page make sure that you check both this application in case anything goes wrong you can go back to your backup and you can restore it to your windows default so just click on ok so we are see the first backup has created right now then it will prompt you to restart so sometimes it works without restart and most of the time it works with the restart so let's check it out without restart first then i'll restart my pc and show you guys so it has prompted a restart right now so i'm not restarting now let's go to the speed test and click go again and check it out what is the speed right now and I'm really sorry about the background noises guys so there is already you can see it is already pushed up to 70 mbps 80 mbps speed I have not mix so it has up to 92 93 so I pay for 100 mbps and I'm getting 94 by just tweaking this hack so this virtually double the speed I had around 
47 mbps as a download speed and you are at about around 90 mbps as an upload speed so upload speed also has some tweaks so as you could see it is literally the same now so if the ad doesn't work for you guys just make sure you restart your pc to get this application so it minus already has done so you can do it i need not restart it if it is not working for you please make sure that you restart your pc so this is an optimal settings which is done automatically you need not do any settings so if you want to do customize a little bit tweak a little bit in this application to get more then go to this custom tab right here click on that then go to this advanced settings then make sure that you change this to 10 20 and don't change anything else in this page so it automatically converts and then come to apply the settings so i'm not doing it currently because i already done that by optimal so just apply it again it will prompt for your backup and restart your pc so the another one if you wanted to restore to your windows default windows default so you can just come back to the general tab and click on this windows and just apply so it, it changes all your net network settings to the windows default which is predefined by microsoft so it goes to that particular thing uh, sometimes it doesn't work so we have to go to this uh, files and click on backup settings so the first backup which you have taken so just click on that that is your windows default if you wanted you could rename that and just open it up and just apply that so it's that easy to restore to your windows default also so i hope you guys really enjoyed my video if you have not if you have liked it so please hit the like button thumbs up button below in the video and please also subscribe for my channel and share the video to your friends it might be helpful for them as well so and i'll also put a link down below for my website so you could find so many so much other hacks also so hope you guys really enjoyed my video thanks for watching have a good day signing off world tech insider